Good morning. This is your 815 daily operations weather briefing. Seeing some partly cloudy conditions out there at this time, and we'll see uh, similar conditions to what we saw last week. We'll see a slightly breezy onshore flow as we move over the next couple of days, and we'll see some light rain chances uh, over the next couple of days as well. Not looking like any significant accumulation with those rain chances, but nonetheless, maybe a light shower or sprinkle possible as we move over the next two to three days. We take a look at our current surface analysis, seeing high pressure off to the northeast, uh, with some of that building down over the local region, helping to keep some of that onshore flow that will also assist in eroding some of the precipitation chances as uh, this system continues to gradually move uh, east northeastward, uh, but nonetheless could see some of that precip making it into the local area. If we take a look at our current visible satellite as well as the composite radar here, we'll see uh, plenty of clouds across the area, mainly high clouds and uh, low cloud layer coming in off the water. Uh, some additional cloud cover off to the northwest. We do expect some of that our uh, uh, some of that to gradually build into the area, becoming mostly cloudy as we get later in the day. Uh, the shower activity expected to move mainly north of the local area, and anything that approaches the local area will likely uh, uh, dissipate or fall apart as it moves through. If we look at our current conditions this morning locally here, we're seeing a scatter deck at 2,500 feet, scatter deck at 5,000 feet, broken at 18,000 and broken at 25,000. Seeing those light winds out of the north northwest at around 6 knots. Temperatures at 62 degrees and our relative humidity is at 86%. If we look at the high-res models, see how things play out as we go over the next couple days. Again, as we move through the daytime hours today, expecting mainly dry and slightly breezy uh, conditions. And we'll see... Uh, Again, those clouds gradually building into the area. And as you can see, the model uh, is showing some reflectivity moving our way and then uh, dissipating as it comes across the bay there. So uh, dry conditions expected as we go into the evening. But as we go overnight into the early morning hours of Tuesday, we'll see some uh, light reflectivities uh, indicated here with the model simulated radar pushing through to the local area. So we're going to be looking out for a very slight chance to a slight chance of a light shower or light sprinkle as it uh, this reflectivity moves through. Uh, that continues as we move into the start of the day on Tuesday with still some of that activity lingering around the area uh, for mainly the morning hours. And then moving into the afternoon, we see uh, much of that starts to uh, dissipate and move out. Uh, still seeing mostly cloudy conditions. And once again, a slightly breezy onshore uh, flow as we move through the day on Wednesday, or excuse me, Tuesday. And then going overnight into Wednesday, once again, we'll see a uh, some precipitation moving mainly west of the region, but still can't rule out uh, some light precip making it into our local area, mainly early on Wednesday. The uh, NAM model here indicating that stays further northwest, but other models indicating some of that making it through the local area, mainly during the uh, a.m. time frame on Wednesday. So as we look at our 24-hour weather risk chart for today, overall expecting mainly green conditions will pick up a yellow risk for some precip mainly after 4 a.m., picking up a very slight chance of light rain before that and after midnight. Otherwise, through the daytime hours, I'll see partly the mostly cloudy skies, winds out of the east-northeast, 8 to 13 knots, gusting up to 19 knots. Seeing our high temperature right around 73 degrees this afternoon. And then we'll see those winds lighten a bit, continue increasing clouds as we move into the evening and overnight likely becoming overcast during the morning hours and again picking up that chance for some uh, light rain pushing uh, through the area we'll see our low temperature right around 65 uh, degrees right now those tides are running about a foot above normal and for tuesday into wednesday we'll see mostly cloudy to overcast conditions on tuesday see that slight chance of light rain Lingering early on on Tuesday, looking at a yellow risk of that, looks to be about 15 to 20 percent chance. We'll see a slightly breezy onshore flow, but expecting to stay below that wind advisory criteria. And we'll see our high of 73. Cloudy with a slight chance for some low clouds as we move overnight Tuesday into early Wednesday morning. Slight onshore breeze continues, looking at a yellow risk for these reduced ceilings and a low of 66 degrees. And similar as we go into Wednesday, but we'll see slightly warmer on Wednesday with a high around 77 degrees. We'll see mostly cloudy with a slight chance of light rain showers. Again, mainly looks to be during the first half of the day and slightly breezy through the day as well. That's going to wrap up the 815 Daily Operations Weather Briefing. We'll be back again at 10 a.m. to take a look at the extended forecast. Enjoy your morning.